What's up guys? We get zero views here. My name is Talos. Join me from back in the UK, my boy, Mr. Bear. What's up, man? Hey, what's up guys? It's colder here. <laughs> it's much colder there, yeah. I, I think it's like about 105 degrees Fahrenheit here. Um, what's, what's the weather like over there? Uh, it's a cool, breezy 23 degrees C in here. <laughs> what is that in Fahrenheit? Uh, like 70 ish? Yeah, maybe pushing a little up there in the 70 mid range, but yeah. But yeah, man, um, obviously, guys, we're back to our old recording studio here. Um, and uh, we, we have, a, at least we have our boy online right now. There he is. Um, but guys, we are back with some more Pokemon Scarlet. Yes, finally. So um, we actually held up on recording this for a while because I was still kind of like grinding a little bit. And because um, I'm, I'm working ready for the next gym. Um, this is not my party, but I will show you a little bit of my party. The, the new Pokemon that I caught, um, as well as a Pokemon that I breeded because I had a, a surprise trade and someone gave me a Dragonite. And I, I breeded it and got a, uh, a Dratini, which I named him Trentini. <laughs> It sounds, like, it sounds like a very serious name, right? Trentini. You have to say it like that. The reason why I named him Trentini was he's very, he's very, he's pretty serious by nature. <laughs> and then of course, once he, once he evolves to um, a Dragonite, I'm going to call him Trent Knight. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like obviously Dratini, Dra Dragonair, and Dragonite, they're like my favorite evolutionary dragon types. Let me go into my box right now and I'll show you what party I'm going to be using for um, the next gym. So um, while I do this, Liam, where we leave off, man? Do you remember? It's been a while. <laughs> yes, it's been a while. It's been a while. But I believe we took our treads towards the Steel Titan uh, Pokemon, which again... Yeah, it was like the, the giant worm, I think. Yep, yep. All the way over by the rocky mountainous areas. It was... Uh, quite a chase scenario as it wouldn't just stand still and just leave you uh let you kind of just take him on it was uh felt like a bit of a whack-a-mole but you had to chase him <laughs> yeah it was it was all right um so this is my party right now uh, uh so basically the first one here is a gift that i got from liam i leveled him up to level 30 he's already at his second evolution uh, this one I caught in the wild, this one's in the wild, and I got Thunderous here. So I, I want to show this real quick. Um, so basically, I named all my Eevees a certain name. So I have Thunderous, obviously, for my Thunder Jolteon. I got Luminous for my Leapion. I, I, I call it Luminous because uh, he, he takes the light, the, the photosynthesis, and uh, powers them up to, you know, the leaf and all that good stuff. I have my original here. This is the original Eevee that I got. And then I have Righteous and I have Villainous. I, I haven't got this one uh, yet because this is obviously going to be um, Umbreon for Vin uh, uh, Villainous. And I forget the other one for... Oh, Espeon. It's a Psychic. Espeon. Psychic. Okay, that makes sense. It's yeah. Psychic. But the only way to get Espeon is, of course, uh, evolving him in the light. But um, Espeon is going to be ca uh, called called Righteous, and then I have uh, my uh, vil Villainous for my Umbreon. And then over here on the right side, I got my Ice type, Wondrous. He's uh, he's from um, he's Glaceon. So this one, Wondrous, the you know Winter Wonderland. That's kind of like how that, that came about. I got my Sylveon, which is uh, Fortu Fort Fortuitous, which is basically um, I forgot what that defines. And then I have um, Vaporeous and Furious. So you kind of get the idea. I have the IOU. So Furious, Vaporeous, Fortuitous, Wondrous, Thunderous, Luminous, uh, Righteous, and Villainous. And then, <laughs> so I have all the Eevees kind of like ready to go with their names. So what, what, what's that, Liam? Uh, I was going to say, it sounded like you were casting a Harry Potter spell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Righteous Villainous, yeah, all that good stuff. But I, I, I like those names. And of course, I have the original, you know, the original. And he's always he's always going to be Eevee. So he's going to be like a level 99, a level 100 Eevee uh, as the original. But anyway, I'm kind of going a little bit off tangent there. But this is like my current party that I'm going to be using in the next gym. And the next gym is a, um, a water gym leader. 
and water gym leaders obviously they're gonna be weak against grass types and electric types so that's why I have these like kind of in the bag as well as bug types I believe too but um, but yeah anyway let us teleport to the next location it's not at artisan it's at uh, I think it's this one yeah this guy right here so show more uh, this one is this water gym uh, water type user is a good fit for those with battle experience He is a chef and owner of the Kafu or Kofu Lounge and he, and his zeal, zeal for helping trainers grow has led him to craft a taxing gym test What the hell is a taxing gym test? Uh, so uh, that's kind I guess of we'll find out that's kind of like a Nice way of saying he's going to be a challenge. Did you battle this gym by the way? Um, I don't think I've taken that one on yet. All right, we, we can probably take it on together. All right, wait, we'll wait for uh, Liam to... Oh, he, there he is. He popped up so quickly, goddamn. All right. <laughs> anyway, um, so this is actually kind of a cool experience because Liam actually did not battle this gym. Um, do you have a party ready for this? I'm pretty sure I do. Pretty sure I do. I'm <laughs> pretty sure I do. Your levels are pretty a, a lot more higher than me, I think. So I think it should be fine. Oh, as long as you have like... Um, Electric and grass types. Uh, so that's pretty much his party right there guys. So uh, we will see What happens? Okay, let's go inside Let's go straight into the challenge now into the challenge. We're finally doing a battle together <laughs> All right, I think we have to go higher. Yeah, we have to go higher and We have a sandstorm here. This, this feels like Vegas right now. All right, man. Let's we have a cutscene here. Voting of the Lusa. I'm late. I'm late. <laughs> For a very important meet. Oh no, that's the gym leader right there. Oh, go fool. Wait. Ah, he got away. How am I supposed to return this to him now? You. Hey, oh yes, you're here as a gym challenger, right? Yep. I knew it. Arika, of course you are. I don't know what kind of accent this is this, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that big man over there just left his Kofu, leader of the Kaskarafara gym. <laughs> Here's a bit of a chat like side to him, but today he ran off to the market without his wallet. You'll be in big trouble without it. Maybe you go to jail. <laughs> because if you don't pay your taxes, you will be arrested. That's where he came in. <laughs> Kind gym challenger, can you please take Kofu wallet to him? Sure. Oh, you are too kind! <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully I don't get any hate for this accent. <laughs> i give you a gym badge right now if I could. <laughs> Here, here's the wallet, I'm counting on you! I don't know what accent it is, by the way. <laughs> um, guys, tell me in the comments. <laughs> the Italians are very upset right now. <laughs> is it Italian? I don't think it, I don't I don't think it's Italian, but whatever. Kofu <laughs> said it's the proto maridana. It's on the other side of the desert to the west. Be careful though, there will be a dangerous Pokemon in the desert. Why? <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's head over. Wait, what? I pressed Y, but I didn't do anything. Uh. Which market? So he must have gone down. Maybe what? Maybe yeah. Maybe he went down. I normally skip doing that just by jumping down. But that allows you to skip the um, the ladder animation. I just saw you jump. <laughs> I see. I saw you jump down. I see. Hey man, we gamers up in here. Okay. We're, we're, if we can skip a cutscene, that, that can save time. I, I, it's just this is your first time. You don't know where to go either. I, I'm. I have absolutely no inclination. And one thing, unlike so many of the previous generation of Pokemon, you can't go in half as many houses of the uh, NPC houses. Like, it, they, it's like they, oh, they, don't, they don't trust us anymore. I mean, come on, it's been a thing. I mean, it kind of makes sense. You, you don't really want to go into a, like in real life, you don't want to just go into a stranger's house and be like, oh, hi, <laughs> I'm a 10 year old. <laughs> Let me steal your items. 
I mean, yeah, yeah, but it was it was a quirky thing back in the day. You know what I mean? Just for back in the day, the yeah. Final Fantasy, Pokemon, they all had it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what? Okay, I see. I see it now. If you go, if you go into the map, there's like a an arrow, like a green arrow, pointing to the top left. Oh, he went. He went here, dude. He actually left town. He actually went. He actually went into a place called Porto uh, Mar Mariana. So if you open up the map, he went all the which I which I haven't unlocked by the way. So we have to walk all the way over there through the desert. I didn't. I didn't think there was actually going to be a mission like this. I thought we we're actually going to. Uh, I don't know. Stay in town. <laughs> All right, I think we can jump this. I think he's. Yeah, we don't take full damage. In yeah. This. Yeah, I think he's down here. Geronimo. Oh wait, here it is. I found him. He's in. He's in a pathway. <gasps> Vaulting Velusa. Where? Where in the world? Your little flowers are getting uh, battered with the, by the sea. Breeze sometimes fierce, but you don't care. What strong, pretty little flowers? Where? Where in the world the, didn't I go find more like you? Tee hee. Oh, should I need to go, go back to the market? For a big man, he's pretty fast. Oh, yeah. He's, uh, you could say he's a track star. <laughs> All right, let's unlock this uh, Poke Stop. All right, this is the first time in town for me. It looks like a uh, pretty cool market area. Yeah. All right, he's somewhere here. There he is. <laughs> Vaulting the loose. Where? Where in the world? That must be his catchphrase. <laughs> where in the world is my wallet? What are my wallet? Now we better get today's hot item. You'll get bought up by someone else. He must be looking at the uh, the latest Pokemon sets. <laughs> Sniffles. Don't worry, old man, Kofu. I'll run and look for it right now. Who are you? What do you want? Old man Koopa's in the middle of some super duper important ingredient buying. Yeah, thinking about trying to interrupt him. Then I'll be his best apprentice. We'll have to stop you. Are we gonna battle him? Uh, do you have something so important to say to us, busy folks, or what? What an asshole. <laughs> super important. We are gonna battle him. <laughs> what? We'll see about that. Maybe a battle will shut your mouth. I'm the teacher's pet. Interesting, but you go. Alright, I think that's a water type. Alright, let's uh, do a vine whip. Ooh, that's, that's critical for me. Are you, are you battling as well, Liam? I just. I, I just stampeded the whole freaking battle. You already finish? Yeah, I kind of forgot I do have some pretty packing Pokemon. Very OP mo mo Pokemon. Alright. Yeah, I'm still battling. I'm not as strong as you, apparently. Go Thunderous! Oh yeah. Nice, super effective. I love it, I love it. Another one. I mean, I'm not like super weak, but definitely not as strong as you. But uh, that's why I had to like do a little bit of leveling up because a lot of my Pokemon were like, especially the grass and fire thunder types. We're like still like level one, level five, level ten. 
Yeah, plus. So it took me like, it took me about three days to really fully level up my, my party that I want. Uh, only because I have, you know, my son to take care of as well. So like, I had to like, record one, uh, where, train where I can. God dang it, that backfired. And now my wallet's empty too. Hi right, y'all, step right up and tell me what's all this rock is over about here. <laughs> oh man, Kufa, Kofu, seems like this kid's got something to say to you. What's that now? A customer here for a little old, oneless, moneyless me? What can I do for you? <laughs> I have your wallet. Vaulting of a loser, my wallet. Say what now? My lobby staffer sent you out here to bring it to me? Yeah, that's a huge help. Thanks for coming all this way. I guess I should apologize for my little apprentice uh, too. Yeah, he's a, he's a little asshole, but uh, he's, he's okay. He's a little chump. <laughs> but something here, the Proto Maria Nanda auction that I really want to get our hands on. So as you can imagine, we were both a bit worked up to find a little forgot in my wallet. Listen! Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> you won't want to miss this. Here comes today's last item. Hmm. Feast your eyes on the main event. I have here the legendary Wakami seaweed of the Hoenn region. Do I have any takers? Vaulting Valusa. I don't even have to touch, I can see how they've got the springy texture, seaweed, clock full of nutrients. Ah, look at it. Just look at it. Now I have a catch of the light and shine so brilliantly. Ooh, and that rich, fresh aroma of something plucked straight out of the ocean. I need to get my hands on that. The listen, kid. You wanna challenge me at the cast of fucking gym? <laughs> you need to uh, use the spots. And this is the perfect place to test you. Get the winning bid. What? Yeah. This will be my, this will be my taxing <laughs> on that seaweed of this old man. What's a winning bid? Uh, yeah, the auction you gotta compete with some other customers for goods. You gotta be aware of how much money they have, of course. But the person who bids the highest price gets to buy whatever's on sale. Here you are. Fighting funds for the auction, be smart with it, and win it, this old man that see you. Why do you yourself? <laughs> 75,000? That's a lot of money. Especially for a, a child. I mean, I eventually we'll get that money, but not right now. You see this? This is the gym test? This is, this is where I Hopefully could it... trade money with you, because I'd give you that. Yeah. All right, the seaweed. We'll start with the, the bidding at ten thousand, apparently. All right, I'm gonna bid fifteen then. Do I hear more? We're currently at fifteen thousand, twenty thousand, thirty thousand. Whew! All right, we have thirty thousand. Do I hear more? I do thirty-five. Do I hear more? We're currently at thirty-five. What a big spender! What in the world? Okay, it wasn't that bad. What a Duncan. That was amazing. You put those good bidders to shame with your bidding skills. Uh, thank you for winning that seaweed for this old man. I'll be taking it now if you don't mind. This seaweed is a great catch. I'll be feeling low at the seabed if I fail to get my hands on it. If there's any old that money I'll give you, feel free to keep it as a tip. Ooh, okay. Thank you. You can even use it to try your hand at the auction again if you like. Alrighty, I'm gonna head back to the Kaskafraha gym right now. Old man Kofu is gonna prepare a real good battle for you. See you there. <laughs> Alright, I, I passed the, the gym test. <laughs> yep, it was all about money and, well, I got plenty of it, so it was like, oh, well, whatever. <laughs> yeah, but he gave you e even more money. Uh, All right, I'm going to teleport back. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go to the west, the west side. Yep. I'm not gonna, I, am, I am not going to be walking all the way over. <laughs> That's the beauty of like this game. 
Um, you don't, you don't, you don't need a Pokemon with, with fly anymore. You just kind of go there. All right. Hopefully, there's no more cutscenes, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. Um, we might we might encounter Nimona. What's her I, face? I, it's got. It's gonna happen, I reckon. Uh, it's got to. <laughs> totally got wasn't to. here just listening in to your comments. Oh, actually no. It's a it's, it's a gym. It's, it's the uh, lead four guys. Ah. Well now, Sophia. You appear to be progressing well on your gym circus circuit. I believe you were voicing him. Um, so I'll, I'll let you voice the older guy. I'll, I'll be the guy with the green hair. What's this now? Is this the kid I've been hearing so much about? Hey, kiddo. I heard you're like way too good at battling, yeah? Uh, not that good. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fool me that easily. No need to play humble, you hear? Uh, this young lady would be Rika. That's me, Rika here, at your service. And hey, I know I'm pretty and all, but uh, no need to flirt. <laughs> Get intimidated or anything like that. She's a little... Uh, fanatical? <laughs> farcical? She, yeah, she's a little farcical. I don't know. Uh, shall we say. But like myself, she is a member of the Elite Four. Yeah, I am. What? I wasn't trying to be funny. Anyway, oh yeah. Tell you something, kiddo. You look fun and all, like, listen, interesting, at a glance, anyway. Naturally, she is one of the Academy's esteemed students. Oh, okay. Yeah, that checks out. But the battles you'll face at these gyms really are ratchet up further you go. Indeed. The average trainer abandons the challenge at roughly this very point. But not you, right, kiddo? Not you. Look at my eyes. <laughs> See, what you got there is a champion assessment. You show those gyms what you got. Best fortunes to you. Alright. Sophia, I heard you reunited Kofu with his wallet. <laughs> I can't thank you enough, though, though this is a little irregular. Please consider your gym test passed. I'm so happy. I won't get fired. <laughs> Are you ready to get challenged to gym test leader Kofu? The searching chef? Uh, not yet. I need to... Uh, let me check my party real quick. How's my HP? Okay. I was I was wrong about that. Alright, you ready, Liam? You ready? It's time to fight. Let's do this. Your move, Yugi boy. <laughs> Your move. Yugi boy. <laughs> Yugi boy! Freaking Pegasus All right. with his cheating Hakai. This episode actually might be a little bit longer, but uh, because we did a bunch of stuff, but we'll try to trim it down. And uh, hopefully it's, uh, you know, good for you guys. Old man Kofu, play with us! Come on! I would be honored if you would try a new item for our restaurant menu as well. Sorry, everybody. I got some business to take care of as a gym leader, real quick. Like, I'm keeping someone waiting. You see, please forgive me. I need to do this first. Yeah, okay. Pretty epic music. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Step right up. I've been waiting for you. Thanks for the help over at the bottom. A, don't, don't tell me about you, okay? You did a mighty fine job. But now I got that legendary seaweed. I can make some real quality dishes with it. But don't expect to go easy on you in my battle here. Alright, let's do this. At the auction, we battle with buying and selling. At my gym, we battle in more traditional sense. 
moves and tactics ever changing as a raging sea. I am ready to serve you with a full coast of water type Pokemon. Don't try to eat him, though, no, please. <laughs> Alright, let's do this, man. You probably are, you probably are finished in battle. <laughs> My beam is so strong. Oh, I did get lucky on some electric pipes throughout the playthrough so far. I feel a bit indebted to you. Don't mind or easy on what your cause I got. Alright. A mold breaker, okay. Oh, that means that, okay. So he has a total of three Pokemon. I'm gonna do a seed bomb and see what that does. Super effective against me, apparently. Also effective against you. Alright, let's do one more seed bomb and I'll probably switch off. Ooh! It's okay, he's still alive, he's still alive. But you not. <laughs> you not. I like, the, I, I like the, how it, they added like a sound effect for the audience. It's like, aww. <laughs> Adds a level of air. Alright, I'm gonna switch off. Exactly. I'm gonna bring Mag O Might into, uh, into the fray. He, we haven't seen him in, in this playthrough yet. Mag O Might. Not to be confused with Dino Might. Ooh, a Wolf Trio. Is he a water type? I didn't know he was a water type. Yeah, the uh, the certainly not Doug Trio is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Mago Might is actually not doing so well. I wasn't able to, uh, to get him to evolve. I'm not sure what level he actually evolves in. I'm assuming 36? Uh, between 36 and 38, I believe. Yeah. Nice! Way to, way to, way to come strong there. Mag o Might. <laughs> Swag the Might. Alright, he's gonna switch as well. I'm, I'm gonna switch as well. Uh, I'm gonna bring out my strongest Pokemon to your strongest Pokemon. I don't. I, I think this is, this is a gift from you. That's why I don't have my, my nickname on him. But this is a Florigato. Very nice. The tide, Saturn. <laughs> Crab Bottomal. <laughs> Oh man. I think he's normally an ice type, yeah. but he's going to terrestrialize into a uh, into a Pokemon. But I'm going to terrestrialize as as well and do it. Magomite. <laughs> I like that name. Magomite. I think I have pretty good nicknames, guys. Let me know in the comments down below. You guys have uh, feel my nicknames. All right, let's, so let's go check out your crystallize. The chandelier. Well, actually, he has, he has more like a. I don't even know what that is. Super effective. Ooh, that's actually pretty effective as well. It took half my life. Squishy. Alright, which one's stronger? Oh yeah, let's, let's finish it off with Seed Bomb. There it is. Yeah, if I didn't level up, guys, and do some grinding, I, I would have definitely lost this battle. Because I think Floor Gata was like. Only 22, level 22. Molting Velusa, you're a lively one, aren't you? A little too lively, if I do say so myself. All right, another gym badge in our belt. 
<laughs> yeah, I lost some refreshing as an air at that morning market. I'm just like a little helpless little magic up to ya, flopping around all windy windy. <laughs> you got me good, I tell you. What a good catch you are. Just like a master fisher, you held on tight until the last second and reeled in victory. Now it's time to hand over the badge to you. <laughs> Let's get really good photo as well. I love, I love selfies. Yeah, <laughs> selfie time. Postcode, postcard time. Oh, interesting. Okay, so he made it look like he's like a fish, like a Magikarp in the air with the perspective of it. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. With four gym badges in your possession now, a Pokemon up to level 40 will be easily to catch and I'll listen to you as well. Let me know if this is two of an extra special bonus. I'm sure your kin will be good of use this. Uh, chilling waters. Okay, cool. All right. Cold also lowers the attack. Of, ooh, that's good. All righty then. It is about time I headed back to my restaurant and got to prep to the next wave. They're hungry. They come back and see me again, will ya? Maybe I'll serve you some food. I feel like a, a, I feel like a lot of my accents are like pretty similar. Like I think that one is similar to my Artizone. But Artizo was like a little more deeper, but also kind of like eccentric like. Oh, it was Namona, of course. Oh, Sophia. Hola. Hi. Can't you just finish up here, huh? Nice work. We put you on the four badges now, man. Man, that's so awesome. I can't believe you're halfway through the gym train already. The efforts are bearing so much fruit so quickly. And I'll make this a challenge you a battle right now. But I'm gonna wait, cause I can put together a team Pokemon specifically to take on the gym trick leader. Dang it! When I battle you, I want to do it under the best possible conditions. Which means this time, I'm gonna ask you for a rain check. Yeah, this is the worst timing ever. Sorry, Sophia. Forgive me. Forgive me. <laughs> All right, guys. So that pretty much includes it. I'm not sure if you hear Hunter crying in the background, but that's Daddy Duty calling. But um. Guys, thank you so much for the view here. And um, obviously in the next um, next episode, I think we're going to be going back to possibly um, the Team Star crew, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure what the next element is, but uh, I guess we'll find out in the next episode. But again, thank you so much for the view. And we'll definitely see you next time. My name is Talos. That's my boy back in his home, his motherland of the UK, Mr. Bear. And we'll definitely see you next time. Peace. Peace.